Welcome to this podcast. This is a portion of enjoyment from the Holy Word for Morning Revival for today, on the general topic of, being a vessel unto honor, a fully equipped man of God, by being empowered in the grace which is in Christ Jesus to fully accomplish our ministry in the unique ministry of God's economy. 2024 April International Training for Elders and Responsible Ones, Week 7, Day 3. The title of this portion of enjoyment is, Grace is the Circulating Triune God Dispensing Himself into Us for Our Enjoyment. We hope you enjoy the Lord while listening to this portion and we welcome your comments with what you have enjoyed. What is grace? Is it just unmerited favor? According to the Bible, grace is God coming to visit us, remain with us, dwell with us, and be everything to us for our enjoyment. Grace is the circulating triune God flowing in us and dispensing all He is into us for our enjoyment. Hallelujah! And this grace is with our spirit. Grace is with us, for the Lord is with us. Grace is the Lord Jesus Himself coming to us to be everything to us for our enjoyment. How can we enjoy grace today? How can we partake of the grace of God? It is by exercising our spirit. When we exercise our spirit, grace is our portion. After the creation of man and until the incarnation of God, for four thousand years, God was God and man was man, for God and man could not be one nor could they dwell in one another. God loved man, cared for man, and did many things for man, but God could not come and be in man nor could He dwell within man. But when the Lord Jesus came, grace came. When Christ was incarnated there was a person who possessed both divinity and humanity. God and man came together in this one person, Jesus Christ, who lived on the earth for thirty-three and a half years. Then, He died and resurrected, and in resurrection He became a life-giving Spirit to be able to enter into man. Now we can not just know about God but we can receive God. Because God went through a process to become the life-giving Spirit, man can now receive God, enjoy God, and partake of what God is. Amazing! Now we as believers in Christ who have received Christ as our life and our spirit are not just men, we are God-men, like the Lord Jesus, having both humanity and divinity. On one hand, we are men, real and genuine men with flesh and blood, on the other hand, we are divine, for we have God in us as our life. We are both God and man, both man and God. Most times what people see is the human part, for the divine part grows day by day until it will be expressed and manifested in full. Day by day we need to enjoy the Lord, partake of His riches, and receive all that He is simply by exercising our spirit to pray, pray read the Word, fellowship with the Lord, and open our being to Him. The Lord is the Spirit is with our spirit, and grace is with us. Our human spirit today is the location where the Lord dwells. He dwells in us, in our spirit, and He always imparts what He is into us to dispense all His riches into our being. As long as we turn to Him, contact Him, pray and enjoy Him, He dispenses what He is into us to supply us and cause us to live a life for the fulfillment of His purpose. Grace is the circulating triune God flowing and dispensing all He is into us for our enjoyment. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is with us, grace is with our spirit. What is this grace? What does grace do? How can we enjoy grace? According to the Bible, grace is much more than unmerited favor. Grace is the circulating triune God working and flowing in our being. Grace is the circulating triune God communicating and transporting all that He is into us. Grace is the circulating triune God transmitting and dispensing all that He is into us for our enjoyment, 2 Corinthians 13 14, 1 Pet. 5 10, Hebrews 12 28. The triune God is not stagnant, He is a circulating triune God. He circulated by His incarnation, He flowed Himself into a man, and then He flowed as the life-giving Spirit into all the believers in Christ. Today the circulating triune God has reached us, and He flows Himself into us with all His riches. God is not up there in the heavens, doing nothing but expecting people to bow down to Him. God is not stagnant, He is active, very active, to dispense Himself into man. He has made a way for this divine dispensing to take place all the time. He is pouring out and imparting all that He is with all His unsearchable riches into man. Praise the Lord, the circulating triune God has reached us, and He is circulating in us. The Father is the source, the Son is the course, and the Spirit is imparting all that God and Christ is and has to us. Praise the Lord! He came to us through incarnation, the Father circulated in the Son, and then through death and resurrection the Son came to us as the Spirit to circulate within us. Hallelujah! Our God is triune as the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. The Father is love is the source, the Son is grace is the flowing out of the love of God, and the Spirit is the fellowship is the circulation of the Father with the Son. God is love, but He does not just remain as love in Himself, He flows out as the grace of Christ, and He reaches us in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Now the triune God is in us as the circulating triune God flowing and dispensing all that He is into us for our enjoyment. 
Our God is the God of all grace, Christ is the embodiment of grace, and the Spirit is the Spirit of grace reaching us to be the circulating triune God in our being. Our God is the God of all grace, He is not only the God of one kind of grace but of all grace, of the very grace, even of multiplied and many kinds of grace. He has called us into His eternal glory in Christ, the God of all grace will establish, perfect, strengthen, and ground us after we have suffered a little while. He does this in us and to us so that we may enjoy more of His riches. All the riches of His being are being circulated into our being. We are plugged in the triune God by means of our mingled spirit, and whatever is in Him and can be dispensed into us is imparted, wrought, communicated, transported, and transmitted into us. Amen. The entire church life depends on grace as the circulation of the Divine Trinity within us. We all need to enjoy the circulation of the Divine Trinity day by day and allow the circulating triune God to operate in us to impart all that He is into us. Amen. On the one hand, He is perfecting us, establishing us, strengthening us, and grounding us in Himself, on the other hand, He is circulating all that He is into us, into every part of our inner being, so that all the riches of His being are ours. May we see that our God is constantly circulating and flowing, and may we open to His inner working, flowing, communicating, and dispensing of all that He is into our being. Throughout the day we can open to the circulating triune God so that He may dispense all His riches into us. Just as the flow of blood in our body is circulating to bring the supply to every member of the body and to every tissue, cell, and joint, so the triune God is circulating to bring all the rich supply to every part of our inner being and to every member of the body of Christ. As long as we are open to the Lord, as long as we just open to Him a little bit, He flows into us. As long as we just call on His name and open our vessel to Him, the circulating triune God works in us, flows in our being, communicates what He is into us, transmits all His riches into us, and dispenses all that He is into us for our enjoyment. Lord Jesus, thank You for coming into us as the circulating triune God into us to flow all that God is into us as grace for our enjoyment. Hallelujah, grace is the circulating triune God working in us and communicating all God's riches into us. Amen, Lord, we open to the flowing and transmitting of all that You are into us. We open to the divine dispensing. Circulate in us. Bring all of your riches into us and dispense all these riches into every part of our being. Thank you for not just coming to us as a stagnant God but as a flowing triune God. May we all in the church life enjoy grace as the circulation of the Divine Trinity. May there be much drinking and flowing of the triune God in us and among us. Amen. May we enjoy the God of all grace being dispensed into us so that we may be perfected, established, strengthened, and grounded. Yes, Lord, we want to enjoy your very grace today. Grace us again and again. We open to your divine dispensing. Grace is God's visitation to stay with us, be one with us, and even become us. The first case of grace in the New Testament, which sets the principle of grace, is the case of God's incarnation. The first mention of grace in the New Testament is related to the Lord's incarnation. The angel came to Mary and told her, Rejoice, you who have been graced. Luke 1 28. Later he told her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found grace with God. V. 30. Mary was graced by God and found grace with God because He came to visit her, and He entered into her and stayed in her to be the very essence of her conceiving a wonderful person, who would be both God and man, a God-man, Luke 1 28, 30, 35, Matt. 1 18, 20. In the Old Testament God visited man, but He only visited them for a short while and then left. God dwells in unapproachable light, 1 Timothy 6 16, and He only visited some of His seekers such as Abraham, Gideon, and some others, and then He left. But in Mary's case, the Lord came and did not leave, rather, He came to stay in Mary, in her physical womb. What was begotten of her was of the Holy Spirit. God came to visit Mary, and He entered into her and stayed in her to be the very essence of her conceiving the God-man Jesus Christ. Grace, therefore, is God coming to visit people, enter into people, and stay in people. Mary was such a one, she was graced by God, for God came to be with her, dwell in her, and stay with her. The first case of grace is the case of God's incarnation. As seen in John 1 14, 16-17, when Christ came, grace came, grace and reality came through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah! According to the first mention of grace in the New Testament, grace is God's visitation to stay in man, to be born in man, and to be one with man. 2 Tim. 4 22 says that the Lord is with our spirit, and grace is with us. The Lord is grace is with our spirit, even in us to be everything we need. By regeneration, we have received the Lord Jesus as grace into our spirit, and now grace is with us. The Lord is grace is with us to stay with us, be one with us, and even become us. He wants to be the circulating triune God imparting all that He is into our being, so for this He came into our spirit to be with us, 
remain in us, stay with us, and be one with us. How amazing it is to realize that grace is God's visitation to stay in us, to be born in us, to be one with us, and even to become us, Galatians 1 15-16, 2 20, 4 19, Phil. 1 21. The Lord Jesus came to be in us and with us, He didn't come to just visit us but to stay with us, to be born in us, and to be one with us. It pleased God to reveal His Son in us, He set us apart from our mother's womb and called us by His grace, and He revealed His Son in us. Today we as believers in Christ should live by this grace of Christ, by having Him born in us and living in us. Because Christ as grace is in us, we live in faith, the faith of the Son of God, by being joined to Him organically. We care for others in the Lord so that Christ may be formed in them, and we seek to live Christ, for Christ as grace is with our spirit. Even our labor for the Lord is not ourselves working but it is Christ doing all things in us, for grace is Christ coming to do everything in us and for us. 1 Corinthians 15 10 says that it is not us but the grace of Christ that does everything in us and for us. Amen. In Luke 2 we further see that the Lord Jesus advanced in wisdom and stature and in the grace manifested in Him before God and men. V. 52. We need to grow in grace. Grace needs to increase in us and fill our whole being. May we grow in grace today. May we learn to minister this grace to others so that the circulating triune God would reach them, dwell in them, stay with them, and become everything to them. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming not only to visit us but to enter into us, stay in us, and be with us all the time as grace. Hallelujah, God as grace came to us to dwell in us and live in us. Praise the Lord, the grace of the Lord is with us, in our spirit. Wow, Lord, thank you for coming into us as grace to stay with us, to be born in us, to be one with us, and even to become us. We want to do all things by the grace of God. We want to know you as grace, enjoy you as grace, and grow in the grace of God. May your grace to us increase and grow. May we grow in the grace by enjoying you as grace. Amen, Lord, we want to live by faith in you, enjoying you as grace, and doing all things by the grace of God. We exercise our spirit to receive you as grace, enjoy you as grace, and live by the grace of God. Amen, Lord, may we find grace with God. May we enjoy the grace with our spirit. May we enjoy your dwelling in us as grace to be everything to us.